Спасибо большое. Thank you so much. Shall we start working, I guess? Distinguished Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, negotiations with the President of the United States, Donald Trump, uh, took place in a frank and businesslike atmosphere. I think we can call it a success and a very fruitful round of negotiations. We carefully analyzed the current status, the present and the future of the Russia to the United States relationship, key issues of the global agenda. It's quite clear to everyone that the bilateral relationship are going through a complicated stage, and yet those impediments, the current tension, the tense atmosphere, essentially have no solid reason behind it. The Cold War is a thing of past. The era of acute ideological confrontation of the two countries is a thing of a remote past, is a vestige of the past. The situation of the world changed dramatically. Today, both Russia and the United States face a whole new set of challenges. Those include a dangerous maladjustment of mechanisms for maintaining international security and stability, regional crises, the creeping threats of terrorism and transnational crime. It's the snowballing problems in the economy, environmental risks, and other sets of challenges. We can only cope with these challenges if we join the ranks and work together. Hopefully, we will reach this understanding with our American partners. Today's negotiations reflected our joint wish, our joint wish, wish with President Trump to redress this negative situation in the bilateral relationship. Outline the first steps for improving this relationship to restore the acceptable level of trust and going back to the previous uh, level of interaction on all mutual interest issues. As major nuclear powers, we bear special responsibility for maintaining international security. I deem it vital, and we mentioned this during the negotiations, it's crucial that we fine-tune the dialogue on strategic stability and global security and non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. We submitted our American colleagues a note with a number of specific suggestions. We believe it necessary to work together f further on to interact on the disarmament agenda, military and technical cooperation. This includes the extension of the strategic offensive arms limitation treaty. It's the dangerous situation with the global American anti-missile defense system. It's the implementation issues with the INF treaty. And of course, the agenda of non-placement of weapons in space. We favor the continued cooperation in counterterrorism and maintaining cybersecurity. And I'd like to point out specifically that our special services are cooperating quite successfully together. The most recent example is their operational cooperation uh, within the recently concluded World Football Cup. In general, the contacts among the special services should be put to a system-wide basis, should be uh, brought to a systemic framework. I recall, I rem reminded President Trump about the suggestion to reestablish the working group on anti-terrorism. We also mentioned a plethora of regional crises. It's not always um, that our postures dovetail exactly, and yet um, the overlapping and mutual interests abound. We have to look for points of contact and interact closer in a variety of inter international fora. Clearly, we mentioned the regional crisis, for instance, Syria. As far as Syria is concerned, the task of establishing peace and reconciliation in this country could be the first showcase example of a successful joint work. Russia and the United States apparently can act proactively and take assumed leadership in this issue and organize the interaction to overcome humanitarian crisis and help Syrian refugees to go back to their homes. In order to, to accomplish this level of successful cooperation in Syria, we have all the required components. 
Let me remind you that both Russian and American military have acquired a useful experience of coordination of their action, established uh, the operational channels of communication, which permitted to avoid dangerous incidents and unintentional collisions in the air and in the ground. Also, um, crushing terrorists in the southwest of Syria, the uh, south of Syria, should be brought to the full compliance with the Treaty of 1974 about the separation of forces, about s separation of forces of Israel and Syria. This will bring peace to Golan Heights and bring a more peaceful relationship between Syria and Israel and also to provide security of the state of Israel. Mr. President paid special attention to the issue during today's negotiations, and I would like to confirm that Russia is interested in this development and this will act accordingly. Thus far, we will make a step toward creating a lasting peace in compliance with the respective resolutions of uh, Security Council, for instance, the Resolution 338. We it is, we're glad that the Korean Peninsula issue is starting to resolve. To a great extent, it was possible thanks to the personal engagement of President Trump, who prefer, opted for dialogue instead of confrontation. You know, we also m mentioned our concern about the withdrawal of the United States from the JCPOA. Well, uh, the US, our US counterparts are aware of our posture. Let me remind you that thanks to the Iranian nuclear deal, Iran became the most controlled country in the world. It's submitted to the control of IAEA. It effectively ensures the exclusively peaceful nature of Iranian nuclear program and strengthens the non-proliferation regime. While we discussed the internal Ukrainian crisis, we paid special attention to the bona fide implementation of Minsk agreements by Kiev. At the same time, the United States could be more decisive in nudging the Ukrainian leadership and encourage it to uh, work actively in this. We paid more attention to economic ties and economic cooperation. It's clear that both countries, the businesses of both countries, ha are interested in this. American delegation was one of the largest delegations in the St. Petersburg Economic Forum. It featured over 500 representatives of American businesses. We agreed, me and President Trump, we agreed to create a high-level working group that would bring together captains of Russian and American business. After all, entrepreneurs and businessmen know better how to articulate this successful business cooperation while let them think and make their proposals and suggestions in this regard. Once again, President Trump uh, mentioned the issue of the so-called interference of Russia in the American elections, and I had to reiterate things I said several times, including during our personal contacts, that the Russian state has never interfered and is not going to interfere into internal American affairs, including election process. Any specific material, if such things arise, we are ready to analyze together. For instance, we can analyze them through the joint working group on cybersecurity, the establishment of which we discussed uh, during our previous contacts. And clearly, it's past time we restore our cooperation in the cultural area, in the humanitarian area. As far as I think you know that recently we hosted the American congressman delegation, and now it's perceived and portrayed almost as a historic event, although it should have been just a current affairs, just a business as usual. And in this regard, we mentioned this proposal to the president. Um, we have to think about the practicalities of our cooperation, but also about the rationale, the underlying logic of it. And we have to engage experts on bilateral relationship, who know history and the background of our relationship. The idea is to create an expert council that would include political scientists, prominent 
diplomats and former military experts in both countries who would look for points of contact between the two countries. That would look for ways on putting the relationship on the trajectory of growth. In general, we are glad with the outcome of our first full-scale meeting, because previously we only um, had a chance to talk briefly on international fora. We had a good conversation with President Trump, and I hope that we start to understand each other better, and I'm grateful to Donald for, the, for it. Clearly, um, there are some challenges left when we were not able to clear all the backlog, but I think that we made the first important step in this direction. And in conclusion, I want to point out that this atmosphere of cooperation is something that we are especially grateful for to our Finnish hosts. We are grateful for Finnish people and Finnish leadership for what they've done. I know that we've caused some inconvenience to Finland and we um, apologize for it. Thank you for your attention.